Can, no, can, can't you guys distract it? And I'll just come in and do genuine damage. There you go. That's damage. Hmm. With Quen, maybe, just maybe, we'll be okay. Igni. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to catch fire. But it does seem fallible, right? It looks like we can bring it down eventually. It's going to take a hell of a long time, but it doesn't even seem like anyone's died yet. Looks like it's only coming for me. Which is, you know, it's a little bit flattering, really. Thanks, Mr. Fiend. <laughs> We're going to do it. Oh, I bet I will. I bet I'm freaking delicious. I don't actually know who they're talking to. Because they're not actually against me, are they? So who's the boy? What was that? Looked a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What? What's wrong with her? Calm down, you're not helping. Easy. Shouting won't help. Calm down. Simple for you to say, how can I? That's my mother, understand? He's on our side. Let him think. Witcher. You know what is wrong with him. She's obviously After cursed. Here, she was nothing like this. Crones must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Oh my god, I get to see Johnny again! Maybe Johnny. Who? A boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Oh, I've missed you, Johnny! Alright, well let's go ahead and loot this, uh, fiend, shall we? I imagine that's what it is. Oh, wow, you did not have much good. I, oh god, sorry, I didn't want that sword. You guys can have that back later. Uh, I didn't expect a goddamn fiend, possibly one of the hardest enemies we've had to take down. We only really survived because there were like millions of people to take the brunt of it. <laughs> I didn't expect him to have like nothing. I was the Baron like really stunned still from having shit thrown in his eye. Yeah, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Right. Johnny. My man. My main homie. The OG. Let's see what's going on. Do we remember where his thing is? Where he lives? Carol's got the best memory in the dam. Oh no! You leave Johnny alone! Ow. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Ah, you've made your point, damn it. I freaking hate the water hags. There you go. And it seems like they resist fire too, which is strange because drowners don't, and they're basically the same. Um. There we go. This one's just... I don't know what the hell that one's doing. Oh, I didn't realize I couldn't attack while I was shit slugging. Ah! That makes quite a bit more sense, because I always wondered, like, what the hell is the point in that goddamn attack? It doesn't really seem to do anything, but no. It makes me absolutely useless other than being able to move. Stop! Jesus! Yeah, I get it. Leave me alone. Right, you're going down. And you will never, ever... Touch Johnny again. If I have my way, no one's ever gonna hurt him. I'm so glad we didn't bring the witch hunters along. That would have been bad. Buddy? You in there? Johnny. Johnny. Oh no. Not here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. I mean, there were monsters in his home. I'm not exactly surprised. Where are you going, buddy? Rates. Johnny ran through here, fleeing something. What the hell do you mean by something? We know exactly what he was running from. Unless the crones themselves have uh, chased him down. I imagine they don't exactly want any witnesses. Johnny, wake up. Witcher, you frightened me. What were those vile hags? Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. 
What did you do? Get on the crone's bad side. I told him off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without him? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. Any idea what happened so to Anna? I saw what happened to Gran. By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tottered in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair, called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor, went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Why did he need? Why did she need the why hair? Do you know? Need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. What's beyond that door? Take a look under well, the door. Well, I mean, we've been there, I but... I like a fool to you. No. You do look like the inquisitive type, though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. Fair enough. What happened Stay next? Stay in the chest until the crown's left. Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Brewess piped up first. Naughty boy! Oh, naughty! Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes! Then the Wispess says, Run, boy! Run before your legs rot off! They all laughed, and I legged it! What now? What do we do? Escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do, but I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide, and I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? I'm gonna go save There's her. something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. They better not hurt you, Johnny. You. You're like one of my favorite men. Please. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, I hear bad things. We're just going to run right past these drowners. Worst comes to worst, the witch hunters can have them back at the village if they keep chasing me. But I highly doubt that they will. I wonder if I can update everyone on the situation or if I'm just going to head right on in. I quite like when Garrett just does his own thing, like, without letting people know, though. He's such a cool guy. Oh, no, I don't get a chance to. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crowns probably cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar into the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, with no time it's to... It's not hidden. I've been there many times. I'll go first. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. I hope I shouldn't have said going alone. Because I don't want these guys getting hurt. Where's the Baron? Uh -huh. You alright, buddy? Uh -huh. Just uh -huh me. It's fine. Have we got uh, anything in chow? Oh, yeah, it's all inside, isn't it? Prime grey, pan fiber. What's this over here? Moly arrow. And that's all. What do you mean, find the hidden door? We just walked past. It's open. You idiot. Got it.
the cave. Excuse me? I haven't seen a cave! By the eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Unsavory, sorry. Understatement of the fucking camps. year. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Then we need the Baron's help. How do you know all this? You seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on Black He's one of the crones. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the Hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. Mentioned a risk. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right dog. Oh no! I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. Yeah, but All I right. take ages in between Let's take a things. Look at these dolls. Okay, one's a hellebore pedal, one's an ear, one's some feathers. I mean, I know they took. Uh, red bead. I, I'm think. I remember hearing something about red bead. But then I have no idea why. I mean... But then I also remember- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, 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 the flowers that she had, the, the flowers that she had in the back garden that, um, that the Baron made a massive deal of. Was that Hollyhock? The dragons, uh, d um, the dragons, bloom, or whatever the fuck she called them. I'm taking a big chance here, but I'm gonna go for it. It's the only one that's sort of shining as well, and that just draws me to it. Uh... This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just Look any Look at the flower. hair, too. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. You believe this to be the doll? I should look at the others. Might very well be, but I can't be sure. Should look at the others. Bird feathers. Yeah. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa, I owe her? If that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. Isn't she also blinded and maybe Anna. dead? And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. Well, that might seem obvious. But what if it's a ruse and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Shut the fuck up, buddy. You should look at the others. Doubtful. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. You should look at the others. I'm just quite enjoying the hearing like mm. shit about him, so Red B. Red attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg, this cannot be the one. Says Mr. Trickery. Other dolls are worth a look. Uh, Alright. I'll look at the others. Human ear. Well, we know whose that is. Human ear attached to this one. Belong to one of the peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. Oh, we can't even try that one. I, I think it's the flower. Mm, this is interesting. A doll with a flower. Not just yeah, yeah, flower. yeah. I'm taking it. It's got to be this one. It's the only one with the direct sure correlation. It taking it. Quick, outside. Werewolf? Or regular wolf? You're back. <laughs> All will be well. <laughs> You're going to be fine. Tammy. 
I'm dying. She's not well. Raven doesn't rightly know what's happening. Are you not freaked out by why she looks so old? You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. I did? By just picking up a doll? What's she talking about, Witcher? Crones tricked us. Mm. The crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. What? What does that mean? She's dying. It's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother. Tammy. Do you remember that day? On the inner. Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, so oh blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please. Remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave her the fuck alone, I will behead you! Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. Wow. What an amazing quest that was! Wow, man! I really liked that! And I was really upset that we didn't get to speak to Tamara. You may have a moment with her. Then we must bury her and return to Nova. Very well. Stop being such a shit. Right. Okay, come on! I, I got you good stuff. Alright, fine. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Upgrade ourselves, shall we? Because it's been a while. And we have actually got a new slot. Fuck yeah, we do. Um. Hmm. What do we want? I'm not sure. Could do with some more powerful Igni, couldn't we? Melt armor is great. Um. Odd is also a very good thing, but what does it become? Knockdown chance lower, but it strikes all opponents. Um. Tensity. 40 damage. Nah. None of this is all that great. I mean, a melting armor Igni would be nice. I guess we'll grab that. And I'll just upgrade this a bit. There you go. Sure? It, it's such a strange fucking, uh... uh like, a, a skill point system. I don't appreciate how you can't have all the skills active at once. I guess it stops you being so overpowered, but weird, right? It's just, it's just a little bit weird. So now what we're going to do is we're going to target for Father's Eve. And that is absolutely miles away. So I'll see you guys soon. Faster. Well, here we are. Close now to where the Pella resides. I don't know if he's gone back to his house or what he's doing, but says he's hanging around out here. So, Mr. Pella, I burnt your father. What do you got to say about that, huh? Are we finally going to uh, see the conclusion of whatever the hell was going on? Are we going to host another Four Father's Eve? Hello, princess. How you doing, girl? Nothing? Fine. What's going on? Ooh, what White are you wolf. doing, actually? Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Yes, we're about to find out, apparently. Found your, Found father's, your body. father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me, ye would have. You really kill your father? What's your story? You actually kill your father? It was an evil man. 
The Pella feared him once, but then grew brave. What his father did to his mother, the Pella could not look upon it. So he split the father's head with an axe, left him in the swamp. But folk knew. Rage should stay away now. Come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. And if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. Awesome. Thank you very much, buddy. Can I White talk wolf. to you more about that at all? Could Show me your wares. So, near nothing, huh? I don't even know if that's a genuine discount or not. Fine, so, so long. long. Thanks for the cash, then. Oh, right. Now then, the last thing I want to quickly do... No, we don't want a boat to Skellige. We want to go to... Where's it gone? Crow's Perch, right down there. To do that, we're probably going to go to Black Bow. And, uh, or I could just ride there, couldn't I? I don't know. I like how every character, even ones that don't get named, like The Pella, which is basically a name, I guess, get their own Come on. character entries in that that you can probably read and flip around little, uh, like, um, sort of like 3D rendered models of them, whatever the fuck. I, I love it. I really like it. I'm probably going to read back through every now and then just to see what's going on. I don't know. It's just so fleshed out, and it's absolutely fantastic. Right. Let's make our way to Crow's Perch. I didn't think I'd be fast traveling as much as I am, to be honest, but I mean... Once you know a place, once you've been through a place however many times, sometimes it, it just ain't worth retreading that ground over and over and over, is it? So let's quickly go secondary. Return a crook back bog. Oh, he's just... Where are you hanging around, buddy? I don't know where he just told me to go. I'm just going to follow this, because I, 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 I can climb up the easy way, but sometimes I'll get lost or accidentally throw myself off a cliff, and that's just... That ain't too, that ain't too good, is it? It looks like we are, however, finally done with the Bloody Baron. Look at that. At long last. What? What the hell happened? Oh my god. Yourself, plain enough to see. Was he drunk? Was he drunk? Yeah. Always knew the hooch should be his end. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. Wow, man. And at that... That's where I think we're going to leave it. Wow. He's got the cloth doll. That man was a shock. I wonder how different it would have been to have, uh, well, not done it that way, to have let the kids die, if they even die, perhaps save Anna and have the Baron live or something. Man. Well, that might be the first big impact of our decisions. But thank you guys so much for watching. That's where I'm going to leave it here for today. I've got quite a lot to do today, unfortunately. I know, real life stuff. Gross, gross, gross. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. But now, for, the, for, the, for now, is Strike signing off. Goodbye. <laughs>